And say you've gone to Villa, mm. and and ultimately Villa had gotten relegated um, on the season that you parted company with them, and Celtic had come back in for you. Would you have gone back to Celtic? Um, uh, would no, you do I, what he's doing? No, I, I wouldn't have done that. Certainly wouldn't have done that. I think I said this before. First of all, just to just uh, to clarify something, I think I said here in this program some time before. One, I wouldn't have been asked to go back to Celtic even at this time, but I wouldn't have done it the the, uh, the time you're talking about. And secondly, um, yeah, I wouldn't have gone back. A, I wouldn't have been asked back anyway for a start. Dermot why, would, why? D- Dermot wouldn't have asked me back because it we had. We had that time. It was great. It was fantastic. And I don't think I wanted to go and relive those days. Of course, there are moments... Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Well, There's something more here. Is there not? Why would you not have gone back? Many Celtic but, fans would love yeah, to go no, back. No, but because I had my time. The torch has passed from that one. But that doesn't mean that you would Are you surprised, go back. Martin? Knowing the per- you know the personalities. Yeah. You know Peter mm. Larwell and mm. you know Dermot Desmond. Mm. And they will have priced into their thinking some of the resistance. Mm. Are you surprised that they've alighted back on Brendan. Well, it's, that's an interesting one because D- Dermot wouldn't have been wildly happy when uh, when Need when Brendan him. left in the first place. But Dermot sometimes goes into one of those here where he feels that if the Celtic fans themselves, I would say almost to a man, would say, "Listen, Brendan, you've got reparation. You've got yeah. you have to you have to make things up to us now at this stage." But uh, Dermot would see that there as a challenge again. You know, it's a challenge that he's prepared to, spirit, to yeah. take on and say, "Listen, he was really good for us the last time. We can sort that out." And Dermot would be the first one to say. You know, after a number of results, if we get these matches, we get off and running. He's a pragmatist. You know, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. From that, from that viewpoint, but yeah, it's interesting. I, I myself, I wouldn't have gone back there, but that does everyone to their own. You know, if you want to, if you want to make that choice, that's fine. Um, you just mentioned Jim at the top, at the top of the program, where the vast majority of the Celtic fans would be saying, you know, you've got to go and do this all over again. You've got to go and prove yourself. You've got to win some football matches, and you have to win immediately because he's going in to a winning football club, big winning football club. Doesn't matter. and the team that has now been built has not been built by him. He's, there's still some of those players that he's, he knows quite well, but the team has been built by another manager, so he has to take that on. But I don't think that the style of football that Brendan uh, wants to play and that Angie Postacoglia has done, I don't think there's, uh, I don't think there's, uh, they're worlds apart from that viewpoint. So he wants to go back there. Good luck. It's you know, the challenge really I think will be in European football. This is this will be a test because it wasn't fantastic uh, before. So this is the test. They're straight into the Champions League, which is great. They're in the group stages, mm. so. Uh, results which weren't great even last season. Yeah. Although I thought that there were one, one or two games where they could have really got a result quite easily, and it didn't happen. We bit of experience now with the team, I think. So these matches, the 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 European games will be will be uh, not, well, not necessarily. They, they, he's got to do something really, in Europe. They'll, they'll, they'll be important. They've got to go deep yeah. in Europe this time. But Martin, when you say you wouldn't go back, why has he? Oh, well, well, that's well. Everyone to their own, you know. If, if, I, I, I think, get that, but it's a yeah. good career move for him. I mean, would there have been many other suitors? I hear Crystal Palace were onto him right up until the mm. end. Well, well, but he wants to go back to Celtic. Well, you, I think you, um, Brendan. We just we got a snippet there of his of his conversation. He said he was happy at uh, at Celtic. I've got to tell you, I was really happy at Celtic as well. So just I I I wouldn't have gone back. Um, but it doesn't mean that that he shouldn't go back. He, f- I think he f- feels as if there's a crack at Europe. Um, this will be given this uh, this chance to do that there, and yeah, I- I'll get back. Then uh, Brendan has chosen that there. Celtic have chosen that, and um, and so it's uh, let's see how it develops. When you first heard it, did it surprise you? Did it come uh, as a surprise? Y- yes, yeah, so it, yeah, it did. It did me yeah. too. 